Hey, what's up? This is Jared with The Daily App Show. Today we're going to take a look at an app called Towers in Space. Towers in Space is a tower defense style game, and there are some other tower defense style games out there, but I have yet to come across one that is this interesting. It has a very unique storyline, which, um, unlike a lot of other games, uh, differentiates it and makes it kind of fun to be a part of, you know, kind of a bigger picture, something that's going on. All the music that you're hearing is original music that, that was created for this game. Uh, let's go look at options. You have multiple profiles, audio, uh, different things you can set up. Um, and then of course it is integrated uh, with online so that you can uh, you know, kind of compete against others as far as your missions and, um, and your levels. Because you start out as a new recruit and then you earn your rankings right now I am a cannon polisher doesn't sound very glamorous but not uh, nevertheless I'm still working at it so let's go into our campaign I'm gonna go ahead and start the campaign I was in the middle of a stage uh, and I did a mid stage save so um, it, it's warning me here it says this will uh, be lost if you start a new stage I'm gonna go ahead and start a new stage just to show you that how that works so I can go and touch on these different locations, um, or I'm on stage two of um, uh, Hadron Prime, and so I can just hit go to get started. I can view the different uh, technical items that I have available as far as uh, defense goes, and so um, I don't need to review that any further. Well, at least you didn't screw up too bad, recruit. It's like I always tell my son Kevin. You're either a winner, or I hate you. Right, Kevin? You got it, Dad! Sir, I thought we agreed no children on the bridge after the whole Crusher incident. Now, nah, Kevin's a fine boy. Captain of his death curve. If I want to move Johnson faster, make... I can just tap on next, or I can hit skip if I don't, uh, you know, want to hear the, um, the storyline. Which, it's kind of funny. Um, makes it interesting. So, let's go ahead and begin the mission. So it takes me into the land here where I need to set up protective barriers to keep the aliens from making it all the way through. As you can see here, they would have to go along this path, and when they make it all the way, I lose life. And you can see I have 10 as far as my life goes right now. So um, I have these different items that I can launch, and as you can see, they take away from, uh, from my resources here, so I need to use them wisely. And as I make kills, or whatever you want to call it, I get more resources. And then these light up when I have more resources and I can go and integrate more uh, protection. Oops. So things that I really like about this game, the graphics, very clean, uh, the sound effects are very good, and the music, all original. And the storyline's kind of funny too, so, you know, kind of adds another aspect to the game just to make it a little more fun. And of course, differentiate it from the others. Now up here you see two of twenty. I need to complete all of those kills in order, all of those waves, and so each wave of creatures that are coming out, um, I need to, of course, you know, handle those. Certain items are only taken care of by certain guns, and it looks like I might have uh, chosen the wrong option. Um, so this is really going to hurt. This is once these guys get around the corner here. I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. They're going to go and pretty much wipe out all of my life, and that's not a good thing. I should have chosen my weapons uh, more wisely. Of course, uh, that's part of the challenge of this game, is not necessarily knowing um, all of the weapons that you're going to need. Um, so, you trial by error, you know, you kind of learn, make mistakes. Um, doesn't look like I'm going to get enough uh, resources 
to save myself here. Didn't have another uh, of the proper type of gun coming up. So as you can see, I'm losing some life right here and I'm pretty much gonna lose almost all of my life. So uh, hopefully I won't have another wave like that so that I can have the right kind of protection for the rest of the game. So I think I'm gonna wait to throw some guns out there because obviously I need one of the guns that I do not have um, in order to protect myself. So, very challenging as far as that goes, you know, making the right decisions and all that stuff. You can see the little lines above each creature let you know how much life uh, they have left before they're gone. Um, looks like that guy made it a little farther, but uh, he's still getting, he's still taking hits. And they should be able to finish him off as soon as he comes around this corridor here. There he goes. So, like I said, I don't want to use any of my resources because I'm saving up for one of those guns that can handle items that fly. Go ahead and throw one of those in. Hopefully I'll get some more resources because I'm probably going to need more than one of those. So at any time I can pause the game, I can always resume the game as you saw when I, uh, I had the option to resume this last time around and uh, I could have started right back up where I was even though I closed my phone without saving. So very nice that there's that option. Wow, these guys are moving pretty quickly. Luckily they die quickly. So obviously it's a game that takes a little bit of time to play, so a little bit of patience, but it's definitely a fun game. And the storyline changes it up, the music is good, so you know you can just throw on your headphones and play this game. It's really funny, some of the story things that they say back and forth um, are kind of ridiculous. You get this idea that you're the new recruit, but you're the only one that kind of has a, 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 their head on straight. And so, um, of course, like any good story, uh, it just gets better with time. And so definitely recommend Towers in Space for $1.99. You're getting a lot of app for a little price. So recommend that you check it out. It's called Towers in Space. You can even come by our website, dailyappshow.com slash towers in space to see more information for this application as well as you try your chance at getting a couple of redeem codes to get this app for free. So I'm going to get back to playing. Take care and definitely go check out this app. We'll see you next time.